Okay, let's test the assistant now. We go to AI assistants, we go to the lead qualification assistant, and then we click here, test assistant. And let's see what it can do. So by the way, like uh, this loading time, it's really annoying and I'll show you in the next video how to completely remove it. Uh, but for the time being, just bear with me. There you go. So as we said, its job is to collect data on how a prospect intends to use FlowXO and see if they have the required budget to schedule a call with us. And if they don't have that budget, it will just redirect them to uh, some self-help resources. So what would you like? So thank you for interested in our AI solution. I'm here to help you get started as quickly as possible. What would you like me to call you? So it's collecting my name right away. So well, this sounded really weird. So it's connecting my name right away. <laughs> uh, so uh, what? what's my, uh, yes. This is what people have called me all my life. And nobody asked me if I wanted to be called that name. But I love it, actually. So nice to meet you. Could you share with me the most important thing you're hoping to achieve with your business using conversational AI? Now, I don't know what I want to achieve with conversational AI, but usually it's one of the two things. It's either reduce customer support questions or qualify leads. For the sake of argument, let's just reduce customer support questions and see what happens next, right? It's just leading me on a path and it's just following, where's my, it's just following this process here. That's a great goal, conversational, yeah, 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 this, blah, blah, blah. Would you be interested in getting expert assistance from the FlowXO professional services team to implement this vision? Or would you like to prefer build everything on your own? And so normally, like, it, it depends on how the AI wants to proceed. Like usually it can create buttons on its own. So below this, it can give me, I'd like to help. I'd like help. No, thanks. I've got this. Or I can just type it. It decides when it wants to give buttons and when it doesn't. It's really up, it's up to it. So this time I decided, no, Yasin, you're going to type it out. And I'm like, okay, fine. Let's, let's just say I'd like, to, I'd like help. Yes, help right you you don't need to say exactly uh, what it gives you because it can detect uh intention automatically now imagine this felt right uh, and it will be a very short video but there you go so in this case my range is uh so like we know the qualifying range is above 5000 so i'm just gonna go with 5002 is my budget so you give you give like the ranges here and here uh, so thank you for providing me could you please share your email address so you can schedule a demo there you go we're already scheduling a demo now i'm gonna give out my email address because i'm contacting you guys through it through the onboarding emails and the welcoming emails you get from me but please don't abuse that email because I'm going to find you. So now it's just trying to schedule a demo. And the next logical step is, yeah, so what is my location? Like it wants to know uh, what timings to give me. So I, I think I'm in EEST, which is somewhere in Europe. See, it, like it gave me buttons automatically. Like we haven't configured it to give any buttons. It decides when and when it shouldn't do buttons. So yeah, that's correct. So usually when, I think when it's shorter answers, uh, it will provide buttons. And when it's longer, it will actually require you to read through it. And that's why it doesn't provide buttons. So you will read through the thing and know what you're answering. Otherwise, like people might get lazy and just click something for the sake of clicking. Now it's checking for available time slots. 
through my calendar, like it's going through my calendar live. And I think I've connected it to a calendar that is completely empty. And there you go. Okay, so woohoo, I can select any of these. But let's just say I'm not available in the next two weeks. I'm not available in the next two weeks. Let's see what happens now. Whoa, it understood it. It knows, okay, like Yasin is not available in the next two weeks. Now I have to give him time beyond that. You wouldn't expect this normally, right? I mean, I know the first time I saw this, I was like, whoa, we are there already. And there you go, like it's giving me time slots for a demo on May the 9th. So right now it's the 24th of April. So two weeks time, one week, two week. Yeah, there you go. It's exactly two weeks on the first day. And yeah, like I can just select something or something else. Let's just go with 2.30 a.m. because that is great for me. I really like having sales calls in 2.30 in the... Is it morning? Is it night? And there you go. It's scheduled. It's going to send a confirmation email shortly. I just received it, by the way. I'm just going to go to my inbox and there you go like i i do i do have the demo scheduled and i can just reply with a yes right and it's gonna do all the stuff that normally happens in these things and yeah it gives me a confirmation id and that's it it's scheduled it's great uh so yeah like hopefully this has been helpful to you I really urge you to go and play around with this bot and see what it can do. But as you just saw, it's like really powerful. And in, in the event, right, if, for example, here I said, well, well, well let's actually test it. Let's, let's test, like, let's just say I don't have the budget. It's just gonna reroute me to some relevant resources. That's what it's gonna do. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna let you explore this one yourself. Because it's really useful if you play around with uh, this bot. So go and explore what happens when you don't have the budget. And do it for your own company. Like set it up for your own company and see what it does. It's like extremely powerful as you just saw. Now uh, the next thing is we need to add a channel which is the next video. So go and watch it.